Hello everyone, how are you? I'm Savannah and if you don't know who I am, hi. Welcome, I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark and today I just have a super quick haul video for you of um, stuff I've gotten from thrift stores, Goodwill Outlet, it's just a giant collective haul of stuff I've gotten over the last week and there's definitely a lot of good Bolo or Be On The Lookout brands if you are a reseller or looking for stuff um, that's valuable in thrift stores. So I just wanted to share this haul with you guys and hopefully you enjoy. All right, so first I have a two-piece Lafayette 148 blazer set. So it is a size four, brown striped wool, and the matching pants. And I think I only paid $2.50 for these at Half Off Day um, for the set, so. Definitely a good deal. Just over a dollar a piece. This is a J. Crew. Uh, it's called like the City Coat. It is a full zip. Needs to be lint rolled. Size 2. Super warm and cozy for fall and winter. This is a pair of oh, Onzi Flow. Really cool patterned athletic leggings. Um, I really like the print on these. They're a size medium, large. Another pair of Onzi, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, Flow. Um, these were sold at Revolve. They just have like a mesh cutout. They're black, also a size medium, large. This dress, this dress is so pretty. And when I found this at the bins, I almost fell over. Look at the print on this and the back. And the brand is, let's see if I can find the tag, Reformation. So definitely a brand I don't find often, but this is a gorgeous piece. It's called the Mia Dress in this gorgeous floral print. It's a size six. And I think I'm gonna price this one high, like $200. We'll see what happens. This is a vintage dress. It does have a couple flaws just in the outer shell, but it was so gorgeous. I know it's at the bins. I cannot leave it behind. Um, it is union made. Oh, and just fell off the hanger. Hold on. It is union made in the USA. And it's this stunning, multicolored, amazing dress. So I'm really excited to get that one listed. This one fits like a size four, although I'm pretty sure it says size eight on the tag, but usually vintage dresses fit a little bit smaller. So I had to grab that one. This is a new with tags, J. Crew, off the shoulder, um, like one shoulder silk blouse. Super fun, it's a size two and a really cute piece. This free people dress is one of my favorites. It's called, I think it's called the Love Me Dress. And look at this. I am about to hunt for this dress in my size. My favorite part is the back. Oop. Look at the button detail. It's stretchy and elasticy, and just a really pretty free people piece. And this is size sorry <laughs> medium um, another free people piece this is a little turtleneck um, tank top with the open back and it is a size medium this is the free people lace voila probably saying that wrong even though I've sold this dress a zillion times in a million colors um, but I love finding these. I can always find it at the bins because it has a very unique look. And this is a size extra small. I usually get like $25 to $30 for these. Another gorgeous free people piece. I got a lot of really good free people pieces at the bins. And this is a size extra small. This is called the Sweet Tennessee Embroidered Dress. It's a pretty good style. Um, these sell for about $50 and up. And this is in a red color. This is an Arcteryx men's medium. Just 
the chambray button down shirt. Love finding this brand, it does super well. This is a women's Vince little pocket cotton long sleeve t-shirt, really basic, but it was at the bins. So cost me probably 25 cents and I'll probably get like $25 for it. This is one of my favorite pieces. Um, I definitely felt this in the bins, just the material. It is Lululemon and it has a gorgeous open back. See if I can find the logo. It's always the hard part. This one's hard to see, but there it is. Um, but this is a gorgeous top. I think it's a size 10 just based on the measurements, but it's in a juniper green color. That's what it's called. And yeah, I really like it. I was tempted to keep it, but I don't think it's going to fit me. It was a little too small. Um, this is a brand that's sometimes sold at Anthropology. It is the Lady and the Sailor. And this is just a cute little drawstring pullover with a B on it, long sleeve with stripes. This is another anthropology brand, Sparrow, and this is called the Paradoxical Stripe Tunic. So it has a really fun print, striped sleeves, super cozy. This is an Athleta size small cardigan that I almost keep, <laughs> kept <laughs> English, um, but it's a size small, even though it fits oversized. It's really cozy. It's made of Modal, which is like one of my favorite materials. It's super soft. Um, this is called, oh, I think it's called a stu the Studio Wrap cardigan. It has thumb holes, pockets. It's a really nice piece. I think I have to find one in my size. Um, this is a Daughters of the Liberation, sold in Anthropology, size eight. Um, metallic striped blazer jacket. It's pretty ruffle detail on the front and on the back. This is another anthropology brand, uh, knitted and knotted, size extra small. And this is a really pretty lace detailed sweater. I love this dress. It is Bagley Mishka. It's 100% silk and I know it's not going to do it justice on the hanger, but it has this really ruffly like sleeve, batwing sleeve, and I just steamed it, so I promise that's not a stain. I know some people don't steam silk, but I've never had issues, so um, not saying you should do it, but that's why there's some marks on this dress. Um, but it's a gorgeous dress. It is missing the tied belt, but I don't really care. I think it's stunning, and somebody's going to want it. Look at that. So fun. This is a boys vineyard vine shirt. Perfect for Christmas time. It's a size medium. This is a Michael Stars 100% cashmere, little ribbed brown turtleneck. A Patagonia lightweight women's capeline shirt. And this is a violet purple color. Has a little Patagonia logo right there. This Free People One sweater, it's called the Dream Sweater. It's super soft. It's this light blue color. It's showing up kind of white, but super cozy. And again, a piece I kind of wanted to keep. Um, I think it's a good sign when you want to keep everything, right? Right. This is a brand I love to sell. It is Frank and Eileen, and this is the Berry Style Button Down Shirt. And this thing will not steam. The wrinkles will not come out of it. So I don't know what to do. I've steamed it a million times. Anyways. And it's just cotton. I don't I don't know. Um, this brand does really well for me on eBay. It is Sale to Sable. And this is a gorgeous embroidered shift dress. Really pretty. Size large. This is a Dolan Anthropology size extra large, little Henley striped blouse, a Field Flower Anthropology yellow cardigan, really pretty beading and rosettes on it, a Madewell size medium, little asymmetrical linen t-shirt. This is a chaser um, pullover that looks a lot like Wild Fox. It's definitely that cozy material 
that looks super pilly, but um, yeah, definitely has some life left to it, but really cute with just a little lightning bolt on it. This is another anthropology piece. Tons of anthropology and free people in this haul. Um, but this is Diletta, and it's a sparkly silver little cardigan with pockets. It's a size small. This is another brand that sold at Anthropology, and it's one that does really well for me. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it, but there it is. And it's a boiled wool little clasp up cardigan. These little ruffly sleeves and pockets. Should do pretty well. Um, usually I get about $50 for those pieces. This is a really pretty free people cardigan, size small, super chunky knit, very fuzzy and warm. It's this Fair Isle print and it's pretty oversized. Um, this is a brand I had never heard of before. It looks like it's sold at Nordstrom and some other places, but it's called Slate and this is a suede leather moto jacket and it definitely has some discoloration and like some color transfer to it but it was at the bins and I don't know I figured someone might want it anyways it's a really pretty dusty pink color and somebody might like the grungy look um this is a Brooks Brothers dress that's actually in stores right now I think for $50 but I just really like the print and shirt dresses tend to do pretty well for me. And Brooks Brothers women's pieces have been doing well for me. So I grabbed it. This is a Rebecca Taylor silk blouse with a gorgeous blue floral print, long sleeve, size six. Um, this is another brand sold at Anthropology. It is Isabella Sinclair. And this is a little flutter sleeve striped shirt dress also ties in the back super adorable this is a really pretty sundance cardigan um it is mostly wool and it has this it's like an oatmeal color with like a speckle but it is super long this was probably really expensive and it's a really a perfect piece for fall and winter this is an adorable rails lace-up striped blouse. Uh, it's a size large. And I'll probably get like 35 to 40 for that. This is a brand I've only found once before. It is Driftwood, and this is sometimes sold at Anthropology. I don't think this piece was, but um, still good to pick up, usually. Um, this is the Ingrid embroidered floral denim jacket it's an ivory color size medium and has full embroidery on the back as well um this is a pair of daughters of the liberation pants which is another anthropology brand size two and they have like a satin look but they're not silk or anything um but they have like a ruched leg they are an ankle pants so a little bit cropped but super cute. Um, this is a pair of men's Lululemon. I think these are called the Pace Raker, Pace something shorts. But they're in good shape, um, size large. And I usually get like 35 to 40 for those. This is a pair of men's Armani Colazioni. Um, it's kind of like a houndstooth wool dress pant. These will definitely probably sell on eBay, but menswear has actually been doing pretty well for me on Posh lately, so we'll see. Maybe they'll sell on Poshmark, but a really nice pair of dress pants, and they are a more modern, slim fit. This is a Prana burnt orange button-down coat. Um, it's kind of like a sweatshirt coat. It's a size medium. I think I've sold this before in a different color, but probably get like $35 for it. Um, this is a really nice men's diesel coat. Uh, it's a size large and it's this puffer coat that has a roll hood so it tucks away up here. Um, but it has a herringbone wool 
detail. It's a full zip and in really good condition. This was at the bins and I had to get it. So um, I'm going to price this one probably at like $70 because it probably retailed for well over $300. So we'll see how it does. Uh, this is one of my favorite pieces. It is Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren and it's this gorgeous tartan plaid breasted like double breasted button coat but look at these sleeves they're amazing oh hopefully that'll focus and it does need to be lint rolled because of course velvet attracts every piece of lint I've already lint rolled it like five times but it's a gorgeous coat and this retailed for over three hundred dollars so got high hopes for her let's see how she does and that is all I have. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that haul video and maybe learned a couple new brands to resell or just to pick up for yourself. Um, if you guys want to subscribe for more thrift hauls, that would be awesome. And I hope you guys are having an amazing week. Bye.